It's the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Wednesday evening, the 5th of February. James Spann, very cold air settling in here. The air coming across the big snowpack to the north. Any precipitation in coming days? That's always kind of a tricky question in this kind of pattern. Let's go in there and take a look at the details. We'll start with a look out the window. That's always the best place to start. And it's cloudy and it's cold. That's the uh, Chiha Sky Cam at Chiha State Park. They're sitting at 34 degrees at mid-afternoon. How about that? That's the uh, Sky Cam at Hamilton High School up in Marion County in northwest Alabama. Clouds are hanging tough there. They are in the 30s. And in Huntsville, they're in the 30s. The sky mostly cloudy with only a few thin spots overhead. That's the uh, big picture there with our state. That's the uh, visible satellite view, and you can see how it's mostly cloudy over the northern three-quarters of the state. It's sunny way down in extreme south Alabama, sunny on the Gulf Coast. There's some thin spots in the overcast, but it's generally overcast. And that's the big picture, and you can see that uh, uh, active zonal flow, and you can see those little kinks in the flow, those waves, and we have to watch those carefully as they come across. They can be tricky sometimes. Temperatures are colder than forecast, generally speaking. I think we used a 47 is the forecast high today. Uh, nobody's at that level. It's only a 39 at Birmingham at 2 o'clock. Uh, Anniston, 43, Tuscaloosa, 41, and barely above freezing for Haleyville and Coleman. Very cold air, and again, the, the snow cover north of the state has a lot to do with that. The models don't typically handle uh, Arctic air coming over a snowpack very well. It just doesn't have a chance to modify. Uh, around the nation, man, it's tough. Uh, Denver up to uh, Montana, they're below zero out there. And that cold air digging down into West Texas, and thankfully we're just on the edge of the air mass. If we were deeper in it, it would be much colder. Uh, the big winter storm winding down in the northeast United States. They've been buried again from Chicago to New York and Boston. Uh, that uh, winter storm warning for New England up there will be taken down late tonight. And that new impulse producing winter storm warnings out in the west for some of the mountainous areas of New Mexico and Colorado. And winter weather advisories in effect for parts of Oklahoma and the Texas Panhandle. And anytime you see that out there, you have to keep an eye on that. Uh, but the guys at WPC... The Weather Prediction Center, that's a branch of NOAA and the National Weather Service. That's basically showing no precipitation over the northern quarter of Alabama through Monday evening of next week uh, with barely enough to measure over the central counties of the state. Uh, that weekend impulse will likely be shunted down to the south. But again, let's get in there and dig into the models and see what we've got here. This is the uh, GFS, the 12Z run, valid at noon tomorrow. And this is at 500 millibars. There's energy coming in from the west, so I'm not so sure it's going to be uh, uh, sunny at all tomorrow. In fact, the sky should be cloudy, and it's going to stay cold. Uh, big old 1039 high around Wichita. We've got a north flow over the snowpack. And uh, like today, I'm not so convinced we get out of the 30s in a lot of places. Uh, the, the NAM is showing, or so the GFS is showing a high of 41 for Birmingham. Uh, we might wind up with a high of 39. And again, you look down there to the south and you can see uh, evidence of uh, a little precipitation coming up toward Biloxi and uh, Mobile and Monroeville and even Montgomery at midday. Uh, let's look at the NAM, the North American Mesoscale model, and all of a sudden, ooh, it's uh, uh, considerably wetter. This is valid at 3 o'clock tomorrow afternoon. And so uh, here we go with this next impulse. And again, these can be very tricky. And, you know, by golly, it's cold. Now, this is suggesting it's all rain. And looking at the conventional thermal fields, the conventional thickness fields you look for, use the top-down snow approach of a forecasting method, uh, it would suggest if we see anything tomorrow, it's going to be in the form of light rain with the heavier rain south of Montgomery. Uh, but I think out of respect to the NAM, we are going to introduce maybe the risk of a little scattered light rain tomorrow. And it's going to be a cold rain with temperatures only in the uh, – uh, mid to upper 30s. And of course, after, you know, last week, everybody's going to be very nervous in the weather office anytime we have a cold day with precipitation. Uh, then at six o'clock, the NAM shunts all of that down to the south. The freeze line, that's that blue line that stays well to the north of here. Uh, so while the GFS continues to look dry, the NAM brings in some light rain. And just out of respect to that, uh, we're going to mention maybe a chance of a little scattered light rain tomorrow from Birmingham, mainly south. Uh, but we'll be watching uh, trends very carefully. This is the uh, European valid tomorrow evening at 6 o'clock. And here's the problem with this model. It's, it's colder. Uh, it's got the uh, freeze line 
down into Blunt and Coleman and Walker counties. And uh, again, it, it's trying to print out a little precipitation in there that might even be in the form of a few snowflakes. So that's why we're, you know, and I'm telling you, all of us in the weather business are going to be a little anxious when this thing unfolds. So for now, we're just going to mention the chance of a little light rain uh, tomorrow. But get up early in the morning and kind of watch the update and see what we have to say there. All right, let's go to uh, Friday, back to the GFS. Uh, it's dry as a bone. That impulse tomorrow is on by, and uh, Friday looks dry. Uh, temperatures probably upper 40s maybe, mid to upper 40s. Uh, and a decent chance we see a little sun. Uh, we'll call it partly sunny on Friday. Now, this is Saturday, and again, that next uh, wave on that front way down to the south, the Arctic front will likely develop in the central gulf and move northeast way to the south of here. And again, Saturday is looking pretty dry. I guess you can't rule out some risk of a uh, maybe a brief shower somewhere, but uh, uh, much of the day should be dry. The high will be in the 50s. And we'll go to Sunday. Uh, looks pretty quiet. A little bit of cold air advection. The high will drop back in the 40s. Uh, Partly sunny, breezy, chilly, but no precipitation. So, uh, again, the GFS very consistent in the idea of a dry weekend for the most part. And we'll leave the forecast uh, there. Uh, Monday of next week, we're dry. Start the day down in the 20s. The high would be around 50. This is Tuesday of next week. Here comes the next short wave. Rain breaks out in advance of that over the Arklatex. Some of that rain could enter northwest Alabama Tuesday afternoon. This is Tuesday night. That looks wet. The uh, thermal field suggesting all rain. Uh, could be a pretty good rain event with a wave down to the south. And this is Wednesday. Got a 10-14 uh, millibar low that's near uh, Destin with the uh, bulk of the heavier rain moving off to the east. So uh, late Tuesday, Tuesday night, Wednesday morning. Looks like the next rain event next week. And quickly, we'll check the end of the forecast, the 21st of February, troughing in the west. And if that's right, the weather would be relatively mild here with the coldest air off to the west. But we all know this is in the land of voodoo. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can't catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless.